What's up guys, it's Geeks Connor here, and today I'm going to show you how you can install an IPA file onto your iOS device. Now, Apple devices use IPAs, and Android devices use APKs, so I'll do a video in the future about sideloading some APKs. But this one, we're going to be using an app called AltStore, and I did a video a few days back showing how you to install AltStore onto your Mac or Windows PC, and I'll put a link in the description so you can actually go ahead and look at that one. So as you can see, I've got four IPAs on my screen here, so you can install any one of those. So just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to install a modded version of the Spotify application. Now there are several websites out there that you can choose these IPAs. Obviously you need to make sure that you are trusted websites, so make sure you do some research to ensure that it is going to be a trusted website first of all. Now, first off, you're going to click up here to Alt Store, which is now going to be in your menu bar. Okay, and as you can see here, we've got About Alt Store, we've got Install Alt Store, and to enable side loading of the IPA, you need to be pressing on your Alt key on your keyboard, and that will change to Side Load IPA, and then it will have your device's name. So for this purpose, it's Grumpy Geek, and this is going to be on my iPad but you can use this also on your iPhone as well. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click the name now, and that will bring it up then the option of which folder to use. So I've already put it on my IPA folder, and as you can see, I've got four here. So just for this purpose, I'm just going to click on the Spotify one, and then we're going to go ahead and click open, and then you're going to need to put in your Apple ID and password. Now, this is safe. This goes between you and Apple servers, so not alt store, but you need this to enable it on your device. And then you need to go ahead and click on install, and then that will start to install the IPA onto your device. And now I'm going to bring up a screen share now of my iPad as this app is installing, just so you can see how long it actually takes. It's usually done within a few moments. And this is running the latest iPad OS version. So like I say, this does work successfully. And as you can see on the screen there, I've also got the old store already installed on the iPad. And again, I'll link that video in the description so you guys can check out how to do that. And then as you can see now, the application is in fact stalling. And this will go ahead in real time. It's not sped up. And there you go. So there's the app now installed. So we're gonna go ahead and actually launch this application. And then the first time it should ask us to relaunch the application, but it's asking us obviously to allow notifications. We click allow, so we click restart the device as well. And then it's gonna go ahead now and just give us some more information. And it's gonna ask us to allow it to track. So again, that's up to you. I'm gonna choose not to allow for the moment. And there you go. So there is Spotify installed outside of the App Store. Now, this does work fully. I'm not obviously gonna play any music because I don't wanna get a copyright strike on YouTube. But as you can see, the app is actually working there. So thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video.